I kind of wanted to talk about, like, games and what they meant to me back in the time. Thank you. Like everyone else was when they were younger, um, like most boys, uh, you know, video games was like the main thing. Now, back in the time when I was growing up, you know, we had Mega Drives. You know, we had Sonic, um, Kid Chameleon, uh, not Echo the Dolphin because Echo sucked. Oh God, I hate Echo the Dolphin with a passion. The game was so boring. Um, but obviously, that's those sort of games that we grew up with. And obviously, as technology um, moved on, we had big, uh, better games. Now, one of my favourite stories, it, well, games, is um, Broken Sword. Now, Broken Sword um, kind of, in a way, bonded me and my mum together on this one. Um, only on that one game, we only played that one game once. Um, you know, because it was one of those games where you had to think. It was a point and click. Um, you started off uh, a cafe, you know, you were just having a coffee or a cup of tea or something and it followed the story of George Stilbart, who I still have to think has got the most amazing pockets in the world. You could put anything. In fact, you could put an entire bed into this pocket and it would just disappear. So you had little things like that and it was a, an adventure. You were at this cafe, you were, you know, you were just basically just chilling out and then suddenly like this person dies, this whole explosion um, about this clown and it was all about the, sh the, the Templars. Um, this game was so so intense. It was not just a oh I like could point and shoot. It was a point and click. This whole thing of like going around and just playing these sorts of games was amazing. It was it was something that I I really enjoyed. You know I got so engrossed into it that I could lose myself for hours and just trying to figure out. Now there was one point in Broken Sword that infuriated me so much, and that was the goat. Now if you have played Broken Sword, you won't think. Yes, I remember the goat. The goat was the most evilest thing in the world. So if you've not played it, I'm going to save you around about five hours of your life. When you are, come up to the goat and you walk to it and it attacks you, you grab the, um, the cement block at the bottom and you put it on its rope because that will save you enough time and you are welcome. I do not care if I get hate in the comments down below of like, you've just ruined the game for me, man. I've wanted this for ages. That's how you do it. That is one thing that annoyed me more than anything and spent me countless of hours. Oh God, I hate it. <sighs> okay. Um, so the game itself was completely unique. It was fun, it was action packed. Hell, it could have been a film and it would have been absolutely awesome to me. When I went to college and I studied video games, um, I wanted to be the, the guy at the design level because I wanted to make people go like, oh my God, it's a goat in every game. Ah! I wanted to start designing levels and designing puzzles for you guys to be like, hey, how do I get past that? Make you think and really bring out the, the games rather than just going like, oh, click, 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 fire, fire, fire. Um, yeah, there's stuff like that. And I think that's what fueled my love for that, for that particular game. Now, I didn't know this, um, but when I was talking about this at college, I was being taught by what probably one of the best people I know in the world. He said that he did, he did, he animated the helicopter scene in Broken Sword 2 was like, oh, that's amazing. But yeah, I, I loved it. I loved the whole point of just the Broken Sword where you had to think about games rather than just randomly going in. Now, those sorts of games kind of keep me enthralled for hours and hours and hours and hours because gaming from now, from my point of view of getting older, it's to the point of it's who can get to the end quickest. Uh, it's not really what I like anymore. I like to sit down and play games. And um, Broken Sword to me was possibly one of the best games, and that actually made me fall in love with gaming. Apart from Sonic, I do love Sonic quite a bit, but Broken Sword was the first one to make me think, and I loved it. Now I have bought Broken Sword copious amounts of time because I just, I love that game. The first time I, I played it, I rented it first of all from. Uh, Blockbuster or Crossroads, which was called Take Two at the time. A friend introduced me to it first. He had it on the PlayStation 1. I think I borrowed it from him and then I rented it because I had to give it back. Um, and then I bought it for the PC. Then something happened to my games and I had to buy it again. And I have them still boxed. And oh my god, it's such a beautifully well made game. I have it for the iPad now. I have it on my iPhone, so if I want to play it, I can spend and just get hours. It's, it was basically the best way I can describe Broken Sword was it's like reading your favourite uh, novel. I urge you, if you do want to try it, download it on the App Store. Wait until you get past the Nico part because or Nico, whatever her name was, because once you get past that, 
that's when the fun begins and that's when you interact. I don't know why they decided to put that. I'd rather have that as like a, a mini game at the end where you complete the game and then you unlock it and then you can learn about it. But yeah, go play it guys. I, I, I can't stress how much it is. So, um, so put down in the comments below games that have kept you going for ages. Not just like COD because the campaign's quite quick, but just literally one game that the story has engrossed you so much that is, and made you want to go out and read or want to go play other games similar to it. So let me know down below in the comments and I shall speak to you guys later, okay?